Okay, welcome to the tutorial on creating yourself a viewfinder. A viewfinder allows you to look through space and objects around you and helps you to create more three-dimensional qualities and checks proportion, shape and line. So we're going to make one of these. So the first thing you're going to need is a piece of card and that will need to be A6, fairly thick. You can make these in A size but this one's an A6 one. Then what you need to do is with a ruler measure two centimeters around the outer edge of your piece of card and you're going to cut that out. You can do that with a craft knife like this one and a craft board or a pair of scissors. If you're using scissors, fold the card in half, make an incision and then cut round. Once that's done girls, you'll end up with a frame that looks like this. On the frame, you're also going to add in a window. Some viewfinders are completely hollow but this one will help you to get your shapes right. So using another piece of clear acetate, cut to A6 size as well, place that underneath your frame. To hold that in place, use paper clips. Now in this example, I'm going to add maybe one or two, but for yours, you could add one in each corner just to hold it nice and secure, because what you don't want is your frame slipping. Here, I'll put three in just for today. Then, using a pen, I'm going to use a Sharpie pen. Use either a Sharpie pen or a whiteboard marker, and you'll see why later on. Mark initially the outer frame, so that when you come back to this, you know exactly the frame that you worked in. And then measure your divisions like that. Okay, so on this one, I'm just going to quickly pop my measured one on there so you can see what it was like. So you want to have a nice grid. Now on this one I'm using just a 4x4 four four grid, so four squares, two by two. Uh, you can use a three by three grid, so giving you nine squares or rectangles. It's up to you, but this is a small one, so keep it to four uh, squares or rectangles on that. Once that's done, you can then place this in front of every object. So look carefully at this image now. With one eye shut, holding this nice and steady, and using your Sharpie pen or whiteboard marker, you're then going to sketch round the shapes and forms. Also add in any background features that you may do as well, and labels and details, just loosely. Now your sketch will be rough. Have a look at this one. So you can see on there, the sketch itself is quite rough. The lines are going to be a little bit jagged. That's fine, because what you have and what you need to have is you can still see the proportions, the ellipses and the shapes and how it relates to each other. That, that will help you. Once you've got your image done, like this one was done before, remove it from your viewfinder and then use it in your sketchbook. So on here, what I've done is I've just very quickly started to sketch just the shape and proportion of this bottle. Of course then work into it and shade it, but it'll just help you with your three dimensional qualities. If you want to draw it for scale for scale, again going back to your viewfinder, you can very simply Draw your frame onto your sketchbook. So I'm going to draw this one on here. Once you've drawn your frame onto your sketchbook, then you can, like that, add in your vertical and horizontal. Just make sure they're similar to what you're working with before. And it will help you check your proportion. The other option, of course, is to pop this underneath a piece of work. And then you'll be able to also trace over what you have got relatively quickly. So you can see here, I'm just tracing under. You could hold it to a window, you could hold it to a light box, and it'll just get those shapes and proportions in nice and quickly. And of course, do keep checking your reference image to make sure you've got all your images in there. Now that can be then shaded and worked on too. So it's a really nice effective tool. Now you're going to say, well, it's quite wasteful and it's not. And I'll show you why. Because once you've finished with your acetate and you're happy with it, all you need is a little bit of, back to my nail varnish bottle, nail varnish remover, and just wipe it down. Rinse it under the tap, give it a clean, and then you'll be good to go for your next viewfinder. Okay, so let's recap. Card, acetate, make sure you add a grid, use your paper clips to hold it in place, and that is your homework for this week.